How she not gon' tell her friends she really fucking a star? She too cute to ride a Uber, so I bought her a car. Hey, been trying to catch y'all with me. I'm just hey, girlfriend. Happy Sunday. Um, it is October first. Wake up. It's the first of the month. I am sitting here editing a TikTok. Well, I'm about to start editing a TikTok. Um, I was waiting on my washer machine. No my dishwasher to finish its cycle because I have a UGC video I need to film for some freelancing that I do. Today is very much a chill and recovery day. It's about, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. So this is a little later in the day. I got up earlier. I slept in until like 8.45 and then I sat on my phone until like um, 11.30 maybe and got up and cleaned the kitchen and cleaned up my living room, started the dishwasher, cleaned up my bathroom and my desk where I did my makeup. I was thinking about this earlier. I wasn't even gonna pick up the camera today and somebody actually so okay let me back up yesterday was a texas a&m arkansas football game i go every year with my family um well as long as my cousin works there <laughs> one of my cousins i was talking to asked me she was like i had no idea you were doing youtube videos as well i knew you did instagram and tiktok but i didn't know you did youtube and i was telling her yeah you know i like long form content um to post as well but because my hard drive on my computer isn't that large. Sometimes I don't get to post like the entirety of my videos because anything over 30 minutes, like I don't have enough storage space for it, even if when I have an external hard drive. So I don't really post them. But her talking to me about that really sparked my brain into the sense of I feel like I've just been making excuses for why I haven't been as consistent on YouTube. I absolutely love YouTube. And her and I were talking about this too, that we think of YouTube as like our TV. Like I literally will watch vlogs and videos all day long instead of watching like streaming other streaming services and so i'm like i could be that or I'm, i feel like maybe i am that for other people so i need to be more consistent i wanted to start doing um setting the intentions for my week and for the month i feel like that'll help me like space out my life and take my ideas out of my brain so that they can be so that they can come to fruition and i have two really cool things this week that i'm doing and so i want to be able to take you along with me i wasn't against quote unquote vision boards for the month but i just thought they were excessive but i'm starting to kind of convince myself of the idea especially because i did like a big overhaul of my pinterest and it's just really inspired me for q4 to like go out strong with like being consistent and all this stuff with my content so i am coming around to the idea of doing a monthly i want i don't want to call it a vision board because that's a lot to commit to but like monthly goals and intentions we'll just call it that it's the first of the month that's that. i've been wanting to try these drunk elephant drops for years and i finally get my hands on them okay i just finished editing my video it took me about almost two hours but that's because i stopped and started a lot and i was working on the new system and wanted to play around some of the functions so got it filmed it is up on my tiktok if you don't follow me on tiktok what are you doing this is my handle i'm very hungry so i'm gonna eat leftovers i have to cook dinner tonight finished filming for the ugc brand or finished filming the ugc content for the company that I work for and now I'm going to I literally just wore a dress which this is one of my favorite dresses I have it's from Shein but I wore a dress and sweatpants because it was only from like the waist up so but I'm just gonna change out of this dress into a t-shirt and then go downstairs and check my mail I'm attempting to make my version of the Joe and the Juice spicy tuna cotto. I have two can like the cans of tuna and then I'm gonna put a shallot in it because I don't like red onions. And so I didn't need like a big red onion to keep in the house for it. And so I just got a little shallot and then I'm gonna put in all these seasonings. The pesto is for the actual bread and then some mayonnaise. The trick for this is that it has to be a whipped consistency and I don't have a mixer, like an electric mixer. We're gonna be figuring it out ourselves. And so, I'm breaking it all up with this fork to make it a little thinner and I think the mayonnaise will help with the whipping part of it. This is also what I use for my ground turkey to get it smaller. So I'm hoping to get this to you. I'm hoping to use this to make it smaller, like the pieces smaller and then whip it up by hand. But we're going to see. Worst comes to worst, I have a blender, but I have trust in these bad boys. And 
the same supervisor signed off on all of trainers' searches. The ship's extra duty is a punishment. I yes. You'd still have to get by now. Chief Finn, you're certain. I thought you'd be long gone by now. I'll tell you something. Or a fair pin. <laughs> Some serious blood tears went into earning it. My dad did his little. I want you to have it. I want you around your dad. Oh, he's a Marine. Explore out here, then we'll head over to the Vietnam. Where'd you say you were in from? Uh, outside of Fifth. I come from Minneapolis, First Infantry Division, round about six. Wait for this long time. Hey, I got here first. I hate to do this, but I. A piece of pie with two forks is a good idea. Yeah. Your own time, Bishop. Uh, no. <laughs> Oh, well. my spread is all ready like look how freaking good that looks my i used my beast blender and then just like kept adding mayo and um until it got the consistency i wanted and then i also put a little bit of olive oil in it as well um i have eggs boiling because i'm gonna go to the gym in the morning and so that's really the only thing i'll be able to eat before i go um i put the hot sauce in it this hot sauce from trader joe's is the habanero hot sauce and i don't like hot sauce but this is spicy and this is so freaking good so originally i wasn't even gonna eat this tonight i was just gonna make the spread so that i had it for later but it's so freaking good that i want to eat it right now i'm hungry too so it's perfect it's only seven o'clock so i'm gonna make the actual sandwich and so i've got bread from trader joe's this is the ciabatta demi baguette and i'm gonna slice it in half i need to work out so freaking bad it's insane i really want to go tonight but i'm on a roll with my to-do list but also my quads are so freaking sore from walking around the stadium yesterday i i can't do it putting it in the pan face down and then i'm gonna use on one side i'm gonna put this basil pesto sauce from trader joe's on one side of the bread and then I'm going to put the spread down on the other side and then I'm gonna put slices of tomato on the top of it. I got my bread all crispy and toasty. Look at that bread, baby. It looks so good. Put it on this flat side. I'm just doing like a really thin layer because I want to be able to actually like taste the tuna. And the one I had in Minneapolis, I had avocados on it, but we ain't got that tuna spread. I'm gonna put it on this one. Probably should have spread it out with a knife, but it's fine. Tomatoes. Press it together, or put it together, and then press it. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. Let's try that first. Okay, let's try the first bite. So good. Mm, mm, that's so good. So guess what? Can you guess? 
I bet you can't. And a whopping turn of events. We got invited to go out tonight. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna live, laugh, love. So, plot twist though. I already have the two outfits that I'm wearing for these two events that I'm going to at the end of the week. Both of them, both of them I'm wearing boots for and I kind of wanted to go get a pedicure this week anyways, but both of them I'm wearing boots for. So I scraped off all of my shellac toenail polish. So I have to wear boots tonight. I just went outside and it's cool. My thermostat says 84 outside. So I'm about to make me some coffee because I truly was about to fall asleep. I was supposed to put these clothes up and go to bed, but I'm gonna get some coffee and then I'm gonna take a shower because I haven't showered today and then get ready. And I'll show you guys what I'm wearing out. I'm not gonna film me getting ready, but I'll show you guys what I'm wearing out. I don't know if I should just add more you think I should just add more individuals to these? Cause that's what I did yesterday for the game. I just did individual lashes. Do you think I should do that? Instead of putting on false lashes? We'll see, we'll see what happens. Worst comes to worst, I can just like slide them off. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I'm 45 and I just got back home. And this is what I wore out. This top is from Zara and I literally just cut it down the middle, side up. These are my favorite jeans. I wear these all the time. They're from Pretty Little Thing. And I got them tailored. If you wanna know more about them, I have a TikTok about them up on my page. And then these shoes are from Forever 21 from like back, back in the day and they're little booties. It was 100% giving like a walk through the club type of thing. Went to two places and then now I'm back home. I'm completely sober, which I'm so happy about because I didn't want to drink tonight. I took one shot. And so now I'm going to take all this off Take my makeup off, make the salmon that has been brining, and then go to bed. Oh, one more thing before I'm done for the night. I did the individuals again, and I think they turned out so good. They look like false lashes, or they look like lash extension. Get it together. Is this a better view? Can you see them better? Yeah, you can see them better. They look like lash extensions, which I really like. I normally don't keep them on very long, but they've been staying, so. We're just gonna keep them for as long as they'll stay. I am going to the gym in the morning and I know I'm gonna wanna scrub my face when I'm back, so this may be the last night, but. Good morning and happy Monday. I am about to answer some emails, drink my coffee and eat some breakfast right quick so that I can then get ready to go to the gym. I wanted to be up a little earlier today, but I didn't know I was going out last night until right before I was going out. So I had to sleep in. It's October 2nd. I didn't, I didn't even say the date yesterday. Yesterday was October 1st. Today's October 2nd. Um, we have got like a chill day today. I've got to edit. I've got to post some things. Like I said, work out. Um, we're going to put up the shelf today when I get back from the gym. Um, I don't have to go anywhere, I don't think. I need to cancel some appointments. Um, and then I really want to get a pedicure, but I don't know if I'm going to do it today, maybe tomorrow. I did want to show you what I'm sitting in my kitchen um, before I crack these eggs. That bee mat, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of them. I had never heard of them before I worked with them, but they sent me this beautiful rug. I have a link in the description box for it. Um, or not a rug, it's a mat, this mat. Um, and it's super durable in the kitchen um you don't wash it with a swiffer but soap and water just gets everything off of it but i just thought it was a beautiful addition to my kitchen and i picked the i think it's the 3x by 8 size i can't remember totally off the top of my head but i have all of the information in the description box i think this is a super great option for your kitchen maybe your laundry room your mud room right off of the back door if it comes you know your backyard into back door they also have outdoor mats as well um but i just think the pattern that i picked goes perfect in my kitchen i'm sitting here answering some emails i just got off the phone with my uh nephew and my sister and i just got another niece my nephew and his girlfriend had another baby girl um and so i was meeting her on the phone and talking to them but a few weeks ago, I posted about wanting to be a fashion girly on my TikTok and like how I curated my um, 
Pinterest to being like exactly what I want it to be and it gives me like all of the inspo and inspiration and I don't know I feel like I manifested this current situation that I'm in right now I'm a part of the rent the runway curators which I love rent the runway I used them when I was in high school I guess I think that's when they first came out but I could be wrong I used them back when I was in high school for all of my um like school dances so homecoming winter formal i think i might have even used it for prom one of the years that i went but i that is it's the best service for if you need dresses or clothes like right away but you don't want to commit to keeping them or you don't have time to um you don't have time or money to go purchase like a really expensive item i love them and I've always loved them. So I have a link for um, a, the, to sign up for the subscription service and a promo code. I'm going to put it in the description and oh, I'll put it in the description box and on the screen. But if you sign up using the code that I have, you'll get 30% off. You get to play dress up every month. I'm dressed for the gym. Adidas t-shirt, Amazon shorts are linked to my storefront. Hanes socks, Nike, tennis shoes like I always wear. And then I'm just going to wear a pullover. And it's back and bias day. So... Got my pre-workout. That's what I got for the people. Let's go. This ship was all the new Back from the gym, I showered, I ate, I've laid down, and now we are about to literally just drill my shelf into the wall because it's already assembled. I didn't take it apart when I moved. Got my power tool. This is from Home Depot. I got it assembled and styled the way I want. The only problem is I have now this open space that I didn't originally have. I'm thinking I wanna put my other set of cowboy boots to maybe a two more pairs of heels out here to make room, to make more room in my um, closet. I think that's what we'll do. So let me go find some shoes right quick to put right there. These sling backs are from Zara. Oh yeah, that fills up the space. So cute i've got my hanging rack we'll eventually find somewhere for this stuff to go um but right now it's just gonna stay there i want to put my mom has this like super skinny light in her office and it will fit right there okay well that is that on that don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell your friends today friend and tell their neighbor to come be a part of the girlfriends because we definitely love it over here um let me know if you guys like my at home lash extensions it's not like the others that the girls have it's not like the new age kits or anything like that and i can do a tutorial on them um maybe on shorts or incorporate it in the next vlog but i'll see you guys in my next one bye